Okay, let's get right into it. We're going to do dollar books. Then we're going to get into stuff from... We're going to get into uh, regular priced stuff. And then we're going to go back to dollar books. I have a really interesting uh, Wolverine first appearance. And uh, let's get into it. Okay. Thor Annual number 18. I like this book. Uh, well, I'm glad. I liked finding it. How about that? Uh, this is the first... Something to do with female Loki. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. But, okay, what card did this come with? It came with a... The Flame. It came with a The Flame. Never heard of this character. <laughs> but uh, it's still sealed up. And on top of that... And on top of that, it's a newsstand. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so what is this book going for? I think this book is going for maybe 30 bucks. I think, I think, I don't know. We're moving on. Scar, Son of Hulk, number one. I've seen this book throughout the years. I've seen the variants and third and second prints and all that kind of crap. I've seen those. I should have bought them when I had the chance. <laughs> now I'm playing catch up. But uh, yeah. I found this for a dollar. I'm like, oh, okay, that is exactly what I was looking for. All right, what's next? Ooh, found this for a dollar. Found that for a buckety buck. So we have a Fantastic Four, number 352. Is this the first cameo appearance of M. Mobius? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe? I think. I Yeah, I'm pretty sure. that That was the wrap. On this book, either something to do with the TVA or M. Mobius, but uh, whatever. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> All right, got that for a dollar. Okay, this is interesting. So we have Galacta, daughter of Galactus. Now I think this book is going for roughly twenty bucks. I would, you know what? I take that back. I'm gonna say twenty bucks. I'm cracking my knuckles. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to say $20 on a good day. How about that? Like the right seller and the right buyer on the right day. This book can be around a $20 book. Is this... Okay, so this isn't technically the first appearance. The first appearance of Galacta was in Marvel Assistant Sized Spectacular or something like that. I've talked about that book plenty of times. And it had kind of like a five-page preview of the story that's going on here and this is kind of more of a comedy thing but uh i don't know it's interesting enough and it's obscure enough that not a lot of people know but it's again it's still interesting so galacta daughter of galactus okay we're moving on we're moving on i forget if that's if this is an actual marvel 616 character or not or maybe like an alternate timeline or whatever all right Dr. Voodoo, number one. Dr. Voodoo, Avenger of the Supernatural, number one. Found that for a buckety buck. All right. Yeah, hey, man, I'm, I, listen, man. I don't find I don't find junk in the dollar bins. <laughs> or at least I don't buy shit. I don't buy junk in the dollar bins. Uh, we found not one. We found two copies of Dr. Afro, number three. Uh, this is the first appearance of... I forget her name, uh, but it's uh, Dr. Afra's uh, love interest who happens to be a bad guy. Let's see. I I'm opening up these books, and I'm never finding what I'm supposed to look for. But, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, first appearance of... Damn it! Okay, first appearance of this character here. Uh, I forget her name. All right, so found that for a dollar. Also for a dollar, we have... Marvel must-haves. Truth. Uh, so this collects... Uh, okay. So it has Truth. Also Captain America number one. Also Ultimate number one. Okay. Alright. Yeah, got that for a buck. It's so funny because I was at this exact store like maybe two weeks ago looking through dollar books and I did not see these <laughs> i'm like how the hell did i miss this and i'm and how the hell did anybody else miss these Shadowland. okay so uh i believe the truth this um marvel must-haves truth this is still like i think it's like around like a 20 dollar book 
Also, um, a $20 book on a good day. So we have Shadowland, Power Man. So this is the first appearance of the new Power Man. Uh, first appearance of that character right here. I forget his name, sorry. I, I, I could have swore I researched these before doing the video. You know, just to like, refresh my memory on certain things. But, uh, no, no, still forget. I still forgot. Okay, next up, next up. All right, we've got... Iron Man. This is from, I believe, either 1999 or 1988. Uh, and this is the first appearance of the Winter Guard. Iron Man number nine. And on top of that, it's a newsstand. I know this book is doing a little something something. So yeah, Iron Man number nine. You know what? You know what? Let's do this now. Let's do this right now. So we're going to do... The, the uh, Wolverine first appearance. Now, this was interesting to me. So, I saw this book for a dollar. Actually, no, 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 no. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this book. So, this is Wolverine number 13. This is from 2004. So, this is the first appearance of a character called The Native. First appearance of a character called The Native. It's a woman. Uh, she was in the Weapon X program uh, at the same time as Wolverine. And on top of that, and on top of that, she has literally the exact same abilities as Wolverine, uh, including including the th three claws, uh, the mutant healing factor. Uh, let me try to get a... So this is the first appearance of this character in uh, number 13. She kind of... Um, she appears very like sporadically and very briefly so there she is right there uh messing up saber tooth but i think things really pick up in number 14 so here's the first cover appearance of the native and i'll show you what i mean uh now this they actually and the funny thing about this character so look okay so this is the reveal of the claws and number 14, and then you get, like, a much better look at her. So, uh, also, again, like I said, she has the exact same powers as Wolverine. Um, but, 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 she isn't related to him. She, so she's not so she's not a family member. Or at the very least, let's hope that she isn't a family member because... Check this out. <laughs> they hook up. <laughs> so let's hope to God that they're not related. So uh, we have Wolverine number um, number 13, first, uh, first appearance and the first cover appearance. And then you have the reveal of the claws and number 14. And uh, number 18 is the uh, final issue of the story arc. And this is where the character dies, okay? So, um, and this is the book. Now, this is the book that I had first seen. And I noticed that the, and I noticed those claws. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So let's, uh, let's, let's do a little bit of a deep dive here. And uh, I looked it up and I saw that the first appearance was in uh, number 13. But yeah, I mean, again, this is this story is from 2004, so this is a good 16 years ago. Oh my god, no, this is 17 years ago. Damn near 20 years ago, and the character hasn't been revived. But uh, it's an interesting enough to me to say, you know what, I'm going to pick this up for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? And if, I don't know, maybe there's a cover price copy on eBay or something like that, um, of number 13 and 14 specifically. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, hopefully they're not related because <laughs> they screwed. <laughs> All right. So, uh, here's some of the dollar books. Let's get into the books. So this is some of the dollar books that I picked up on Saturday and let's get into some of the stuff that I picked up on Friday. Here's I only picked up a couple of books. Uh, I, w I went to go see uh, a dealer friend, a couple of dealer friends, and they had some books for me. And uh, I saw this one. 
I was like, okay. So I picked up Ghost Rider number one from 1967. First appearance of Carter Slade. All right, okay. Um, I already had a copy of this book, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I picked that up. Also bought, also bought another copy. I don't know why. I love this book. So we have Amazing Spider-Man number forty-one. I this has to be either my, this has to be either my fourth or fifth copy of this book. I'm pretty sure. It, at the very least, this is my fourth copy. So, uh, first appearance of the Rhino, of course, of course. Uh, it's a solid, it's a solid, solid looking copy. Let's get close. So, the glare monster is strong, but that's okay. Uh, there is a sub crease. I know a lot of collectors have a bug up their ass about subscription creases. I don't care. As, uh, as long as the rest of the, um... As long as the rest of the comic is solid, I'm all about it. I don't care. So, it's solid. I would say this book is maybe... Eh, maybe a five. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but maybe a five. And the set together, I bought for three fifty. dollars got So, I got Ghost Rider number one from 1967. And Amazing Spider-Man number 41 uh together for three hundred and fifty dollars eh, eh. i mean eh, I, eh, okay <laughs> i would have been happier paying like i don't know maybe 300 or something like that but anyway uh i i, I guess that's still a good deal I, i'm but then again i'm super cheap so yeah oh yeah so we got a really nice copy of uh amazing spider-man number 41 very excited about that all right, what's next? What's next? Let's get back into uh, some more of the books that I picked up on Saturday. Action Comics, number 806. Action Comics, number 806. So this is the first appearance of, oh, crap, Natasha Irons as Steel. Or something to that effect. Okay, all right. So this book, okay, so the last time I checked... This book is hitting twenty dollars. Uh, found this for two. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. So found that for two dollars. Uh, also found a couple of copies of Thor number two eighty two. Uh, so I found one copy for three fifty and another copy for four bucks. You know what? This book was really tough to find. These were really tough to find. Uh, the however many stores that I visited uh, prior to finding this, there were none to be had. Like, uh, I just figured, eh, let's go, let's go check out Thor 282. Even my honey hole that I usually go to uh, had no copies of Thor 282. So I'm like, oh no. But I pulled it out and found a couple of copies. All right. And I think, ironically enough, the more expensive one. So I found one for three fifty dollars and another one for 4 bucks. And ironically enough, the less expensive one was the uh, better condition. All right. Okay. Let's keep it pushing. Uh, Loki, Agent of Axis, or Loki, Agent of Asgard, number eight. Uh, nice looking, giant size, X-Men number one. Cover swipe. I like this cover. I really, really dig this cover. So you have, like, pretty much all the versions of Loki. And the, uh, and the newest version <laughs> coming through, coming through the, uh, cover. All right. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. So I found that for uh, a little bit over cover price. Now here's a book that was really tough to find. And I mean, difficult to find. So we have Punisher number 11, first appearance of Frankencastle. I'm not quite sure why Frankencastle is a thing. I'm not quite sure why uh, this book is so popular. But it is. It's a good looking cover. I'll give it that. But I'm just not quite sure why this book is just so tough to find. Holy cow. But yeah, uh, 
uh, what did I want to say? What more did I want to say about this? So I found, damn, this thing was six fifty. I thought it was like <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention to the price when I picked it up. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> uh, I want to say this book is going for thirty dollars. I want to say that, but uh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. Uh, Red Hood in the Outlaws, number one, second print. Uh, I believe Titans, the TV show, is has the um, has the Red Hood in it. Now, speculating off of like I don't know, DC TV is. I, I learned my lesson with I think Arrow and the Flash, so uh, not to spend like goo gobs of money. Actually, I've never did, but. I think uh, other collectors <laughs> have learned their lesson. But uh, as far as the Red Hood goes, I like this book just because it has a red background. <laughs> but yeah, Red Hood and the Outlaws, number one. Uh, I believe I paid like three. I think, yeah, I paid cover price for this. It, but I, I think it's like a very fine because there's like spine ticks. But I didn't want to pass it up for cover price. Occupy Avengers. Number one, the divided we stand variant. That's a, I, I saw this for cover price, and I never really see this book around that much. Uh, I believe, I believe on a good day, I've seen this copy, I've seen this cover sell for like maybe 20, but again, that's on a good day because I'm seeing copies available for far less on eBay right now. But it's a good looking copy. I mean, a good looking cover. So yeah, I found that for cover price. Uh, so we have another Occupy Avengers variant. So we've got uh, do, 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 uh, Capone and Noriega. Uh, ba, 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 what did I want to say about this? Uh, I was gonna sing like one of the uh, Capone and Noriega songs, but I'm like, ah, you know what? I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I saw this book sell for twenty dollars uh, on eBay, but I don't think it's going for that much now. It's weird. Like certain books sell for like a lot of money, and then you look a little bit further, and then there are much cheaper copies in similar condition available so you got to say to yourself what's going on why why did that book sell for 20 and other copies available aren't selling you know what i'm saying so it's a, it's a weird it's weird but i saw this for cover price why not pick it up why not pick it up all right what's next static season one number one the uh dennis cowan variant okay it's all right it's all good it's all good it's all good. Sell that for $25. Uh, it's it's basically the going rate. I paid the going rate, but I like this book in the long term. So that's why I picked it up. All right, speaking of static variants, this was a weird find. This was very, this was very, very, very interesting. So I uh, found this for cover price. So this is the static season one, one per store cover. And... Um, uh, yeah, this book is like an easy, you know, like easy thirty to forty dollar book, and uh, I saw this for and I found it for cover price, and I'll put it to you like this: it wasn't where it was supposed to be <laughs> when I saw it when I found it. It was kind of um, hidden behind uh, other things, so that's how I saw it. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found that for cover price. And is it me? Is it me? Or on this cover, uh, they got uh, Static here looking like uh, Terrence Trent Darby. Is it? Is it just me? Is it just me? Or they got uh, got this kid looking like Terrence Trent Darby. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, found this for cover price and uh, very happy about that. Because when I saw it, I'm like, is this the right thing? Is this like maybe... Because it was... Again, you're expecting to see like a like a fifty dollar price tag on it, but it was there for cover price, and you're thinking maybe there's a like a slight difference to where it, this isn't the right thing. You know what I mean? 
but yeah, found that. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the back. Let's take a look at the back. I thought the back was interesting. So you have Lunar Distribution. Wishes to thank our retailers for their continued support. So uh, yeah, you got Lunar Distribution logo. So yeah, so this is the uh, one per store variant. Again, I had to like do a double take because I'm just like, oh, <laughs> it was that easy to find. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Captain Amerigo Vespucci, number 16, first appearance of um, Cynthia Schmidt as a sin. Okay, all right, okay. So, so saw that for $7. I'm like, okay, I'll pick it up. I'll get it. Why not? All right, what's next? This was $7 as well. Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number three, first appearance of Titania, or Titty Tina, as I like to call her. All right, it's a nice, really high grade copy. I figured I'd pick it up. It's for seven bucks, I'm like, all right, let's do it. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number 565, first appearance of Craven's daughter, Karen Craven. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that? That's what that's her name, Karen Craven. Also, X Force number 125, first appearance of Dead Girl. Now, okay, now after I found a couple of copies for five bucks, after paying five dollars for some copies, now I'm finding more cheap copies. All right, okay, first appearance of Dead Girl. First appearance of Dead Girl. And uh, I'm not quite sure why I did this. Uh, so, oh, what's up, Sylvester? How you doing? Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, my sweet cat. Oh, my little sweet baby. Uh, World War Hulk, number five. First, something, something, something having to do with Scar. <laughs> uh, I found these for $7 a piece. All right, all right. <laughs> also... Uh, I found some more copies of Wolverine 13. Uh, these were in higher grade, and these were like $3 a piece. So I figured I'd pick them up. Number 13 and 14. All right, speaking of Wolverine, uh, I found this. Wolverine number one from 1988. Wolverine number one from 1988. And, uh... I bought this for 20 bucks. Got this for 20 bucks. Now, when I bought it, I had no clue. Because I was kind of like, eh. Okay, so you see the price tag on it was 30. Uh, and like I said, it was, uh, like I said, I got it for 20. But when I bought it, I had literally had no clue that this book was going for an easy $100. And I mean, easy. Because I was thinking. Because the last time I saw a copy of Wolverine number one was for like 20 bucks, and this was three years ago. <laughs> and I'm still ap applying those three years ago prices to this book. So I'm just like, 30? Ugh, that's too much. <laughs> but if I had known, I probably wouldn't have haggled the price. But yeah, Wolverine number one from 1988, first appearance of Patch. And, uh, well, first appearance of Logan as Patch. And, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I was always enamored when I, because I've had this book when I was a kid, and I was always enamored with why he had the screen over his eyes. You know what I mean? He had, like, the, 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 like, screen door, the screen door screen cut out and placed over his eyes. I never understood why he did that, but... <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I found that for 20 bucks. It's a really, really nice high grade. Is it a 9.8? I, I don't know. I don't think, because there's like a couple of ticks like right around in there that would probably keep it from being a 9.8. But overall, it's a good looking book. Very good looking. But yeah, got that for 20 and the book goes for well over $100. Uh, found some more Captain America, number 11. I believe that's the origin of the Winter Soldier. 
Uh, found that for five dollars and got this for two dollars. Ghost Rider number ninety one. Uh, this is towards the end of um, the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider series, and these are um, these final issues are like lower print run. So yeah, all right. Now let's get back into, and that's why these are a little bit tougher to find and slightly slightly relatively expensive okay let's get back into the dollar books we're gonna get back into the dollar haul check this out so we found cyber force number eight new stand cover got a new stand so this is the todd mcfarlane cover i don't know why i just didn't want to buy like any i, I just didn't want to buy a copy of cyber cyber force number eight unless it was the newsstand i had a feeling i would find it and i did okay uh I, this book really doesn't go for anything but i'm glad i picked up the newsstand all right thor god of thunder number one found that for a dollar uh vote loki number one this is like the hot book of the past couple of weeks uh found that for a buck uh found three copies of Vote Loki number three. There's something going on with this book. I think there's some first appearances. Something something to that effect in this book. One, two, damn, four, four copies? Shit. Okay, that's all good. Uh, Visionaries number one. Visionaries number one. Uh, newsstand copy. Uh, why not? It was a dollar. Also, speaking of Hasbro toy properties... Uh, Inhumanoids. Inhumanoids. Does anybody remember Inhumanoids from back in the day? Because I can, I remember I had this figure when I was a kid, and I had this figure when I was a kid. All right, uh, that was a dollar. I don't think this book really goes for anything, but that's okay. It was only a dollar. Uh, whenever I see this book cheap, I'm gonna buy it. Avengers Prelude Furies Big Week first. First cameo appearance of Darcy Lewis. Uh, X-Men. What if? What if? Featuring X-Men Age of Apocalypse number one. Got that for a dollar. Uh, first appearance of Church Suit Moon Knight. Secret Avengers number 19. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Uh, no, Jesus. What am I talking about? Guardians of the Galaxy number 150. Uh, I believe this is a 1 in 25 variant. And I like this cover because it features the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy team kind of like in their um, first appearance attire. They're all kind of together in their first appearance attire. I like this cover. I like it. I like it. All right, what's next? The uh, book doesn't go for anything, which is really surprising. But this is a really good looking cover, though. Uh, Superman. Tencent Adventure, first appearance of uh, um, the black-haired Supergirl. I forget her name. Zaza L or some shit like that. But there she is right there. There she is. Um, what is this? Ooh, I like these. I like these. So we have X-Force, Sex and Violence. So we've got number one, number two... And number three. I noticed the set can go for about 20 bucks. So, yeah. Sex Force. X Force. Sex Force. <laughs> X Force Sex and Violence number one through three. Uh, Mighty Avengers number 29. Um, just a good looking cover. Uh, what is this? Ghost Rider number 31. Something to do with the Midnight Suns. Dr. Voodoo, number two. Let's move this camera out a little bit. All right. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. So we have some Blade Vampire Hunter from the 90s. Uh, God, these were some extra 90s looking covers. Holy shit. Uh, Blade Vampire Hunter, number four. Number five. Number six and number seven. If I didn't, if I didn't know any better, I I think that either this one, number six or number seven, is like a twenty dollar book. If I didn't, if I didn't know any better, 
the last time I researched this, um, I saw that either six or seven was going for twenty. Uh, New Mutants Forever number four. Uh, I don't know. This book wants to do something. It wants to be somebody. It, it's not quite there yet. It's been kind of teetering on the cusp for quite some time. Uh, Journey into Mystery, number 624. First appearance of... Ah, shoot. I forget I forget her name. But it's the first appearance in there. Journey into Mystery, 624. Oh, found a couple more copies of uh, Mighty Avengers 29. Vote Loki, number two. Rounding the bases and heading home. Uh, X-Men, comics interview, number 98. Uh, that was a dollar. And uh, last, but not least, another copy of Fist of the North Star, number one. Why not? Because why not? All right, so that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Man, it was a busy, busy, busy Saturday. I was operating on literally a couple hours of sleep, but we, uh, we found some books. We found some books. All right, so that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye.